All right, welcome back to the Allegheny Health Network Nightly Sports Call. Thanks for the calls. Thanks for the tweets. We'll get to the phone lines in just a couple seconds. But first, I'd like to wish my youngest daughter a happy birthday. Her name is Quinn. She turns two today, so happy birthday, Quinn. She's probably not watching because I would hope that she would be in bed right now because it's 1055. All right, let's go back out to the phone lines real quick, and we'll go out to Brad in Duncansville. How you doing, Brad? Good, Rich. How are you, buddy? Good. Thanks for calling. I haven't talked to you in a while. How's stuff going? Good. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Um, thanks. Um, I have a sealer comment for you and a part question for you at the deadline. Okay. Um, my comment is I don't think it's fair that Le'Veon Bell gets his, like, I know he's a good running back in that, but I don't think it's fair to his teammates for him missing camp while they're working their butts off. It's a business, so I think a lot of the players understand that. I, I think a lot of the players don't like it that he's not there, but they understand it. Okay, and my par question is for you. Um, I would like the pars to get Jay Bruce. Do you think that would happen, or do you think? I don't think that's going to happen. I wouldn't expect that to happen. You don't think they're going to get any? No, nah, I don't think you're going to. I wouldn't expect a big name to come in here, uh, a name like that, um, rental player. I, I don't. I don't see something like that happen for the Pirates this year. I think it's going to be a guy that you might not know or maybe heard of. Um, I, I haven't even. I've seen some of the rumors, uh, but you know, you will start hearing something more here in the next couple of days uh, for that trade deadline coming up here on Monday. So um, yeah, I, I. I don't. I wouldn't see that, Brad. But uh, they might go out and get a guy that they think that they can help. You know, like they did the Jay Hap a couple years ago and. Um, something like that, I would imagine. Uh, but I, I don't know if they're going to get a bigger name guy in here. Uh, it would be nice, like I said, if they could go out and get a third baseman or if they could go out and get a starting pitcher that could really help them, uh, you know, like a number two or number three guy that could really help this rotation, especially for next year if they had control of the guys, kind of like what the Cubs did. Um, you know, I know that's uh, upsetting to a lot of Pirates fans. You know, they go out and get a guy that has control for a couple of years, Jose Quintana, a really good pitcher. Um, that's the kind of guy I think the Pirates needed to get and maybe needed to finally give away some of these prospects because you don't know what they're going to do. All right, got to go to take a break. Back in a couple minutes to wrap things up.